winter session of parliament begins tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says people-centric issues should receive priority. All arrangements ready for counting of votes for elections to five state assemblies including Mizoram. Upendra Kushwaha quits Union Council of Ministers, sends his resignation to the Prime Minister. Assam Chief Minister pays tributes to martyrs of anti-alien movement, says his government is determined to implement the Assam Accord. Alan Cricket, the men in blue, trash Aussies in Adelaide Test in the four-match series. Good evening viewers and a warm welcome to Northeast News. I'm John Gamla Thumra and now the news in detail. In National News First, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said issues relating to the people and development of the country should be discussed during the winter session of Parliament. Speaking to reporters after an all-party meeting, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Narendra Singh Tomar informed that the session which will begin tomorrow will have 20 settings. Union Ministers Rajnath Singh and Arun Jaitley, Congress leaders Gulam Nabi Azad, Anand Sharma and Malikarjun Karge, SP leaders Mulayan Singh Yadav and Professor Ram Gopal Yadav, CPI leader D. Raja, TMC leader Sudip Bandupadhai were among the others who attend the, meet the meeting. Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu also held a meeting with leaders of different parties for smooth functioning of the upper house. During the session, eight important bills will be tabled in the Rajya Sabha and 15 in the Lok Sabha. This will be the last full-fledged parliament session before the next Lok Sabha elections. And after that, एक दूसरे के साथ सहयोग करके जनहित के मुद्दों पर विचार विमर्श करना चाहिए लोकतंत्र में पक्ष और विपक्ष दोनों का इनपुट होता है तो काम को बढ़ाने में बहुत मदद मिलती है और सरकार नियम प्रक्रिया के अनुसार सभी जो विषय आएंगे उनमें चर्चा के लिए तैयार है और सदन में जो विषय आएंगे उन पर भी चर्चा के लिए हम तैयार हैं और अलग से मिलकर भी किसी लीडर्स को ये लगता है कि ये विषय प्रधानमंत्री के संज्ञान में सरकार के संज्ञान में लाना चाहिए तो लाया जा सकता है उसके लिए निश्चित रूप से हम पूरा खुले हुए हैं in more national news, all arrangements are in place for tomorrow's counting of votes for elections to Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana and Mizoram assemblies. In Chhattisgarh, the stage is all set for the election verdict. The BJP-ruled state is seeing many prominent faces in contest, including Chief Minister Raman Singh. In Madhya Pradesh, the entire counting process will be videographed. Over 75% polling was recorded in the state on the 28th of last month. In Rajasthan, counting will take place for 199 seats out of 200 assembly constituencies as election was countermanded in Ramgarh assembly constituency due to the death of the BSP candidate. In Telangana, counting centers have been set up at 43 locations, most of which are at district headquarters. 73.2% polling was recorded on Friday's polling. In Mizoram, where polling was held on the 28th of last month, counting will be held in 40 counting halls, spreading 13 counting centers. Moving on to Northeast, in Assam, State BJP President Ranjit Das today told media persons in Guwahati that his party will win highest number of seats in the just concluded panchayat polls. The counting for the rural poll is scheduled to be held on Wednesday. Replying to a question on continuation of his party's alliance with the Homgana Parishad, Das said the central leadership will take a final call on this. On the Lok Sabha election to be held next year, he said the BJP has set its eyes on 11 of the 14 seats in Assam. On the other hand, Lok Sabha, Rashtriya Lok Samta Party RLSP Chief Upendra Kushwaha today resigned from the Union Council of Ministers. He has sent his resignation to Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he is quitting the BJP-led National Democratic Alliance.
In Assam, Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal today expressed his government's determination to implement the Assam Accord in letter and spirit, paying his tributes to the martyrs of the six-year Assam movement at a Swai Divas function in the offices of the Assam Accord Implementation Department, Guwahati. Sonowal said the government has taken all possible measures to prepare an error-free national register of citizens and fencing the Indo-Bangla border. At another Swai Divas function organized by the state BJP at party headquarters, in the city, the chief minister announced that the state government will pay a one-time grant of 2 lakh rupees each to the families of those who were shot dead during the Assam agitation. BJP President Ranjit Das, State Cabinet Minister Chandra Mohan Patwari and MP Bijaya Chakraborty were among those who attended the program. On the other hand, the All Assam Students Union also remembered the martyrs of the anti-alien movement at a function organized in the Nehru Park premises, Guwahati. Paying his tributes to the 855 martyrs, ASU advisor Dr. Samujal Kumar Bhattacharji expressed the student body's resolve to continue with its struggle till it realizes the goal for achieving which the martyrs had laid down their lives. In news from Arunachal Pradesh, NPP President and Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma blew poll bugle for next year's parliamentary elections and state assembly elections in Arunachal Pradesh during an NPP Mahasabha at Rowing in Lower Dibang Valley District on Sunday. At present, the NPP has seven MLAs in the 60-member Arunachal Assembly. In a speech, Sangma said the NPP will play an important role in the formation of the next state government in Arunachal Pradesh. He said that although the BJP and NPP are under the NEDA, the NPP is an independent party with its own identity. The party will fight the elections in Arunachal Pradesh on its own, he added. In sports news, India beat Australia by 31 runs in the first test to take a 1-0 lead in the four-match series at the Adelaide this morning. Chasing a target of 323 runs, Australia were all out for 291 in 119.5 overs on the final day. The home side resumed from overnight score of 104 for 4, needing 219 more for an improbable victory. Batting first, India were all out for 250 in the first innings and then bowled out the hosts for 235 to take a 15-run run lead. India made 307 in the second innings to set Australia a challenging target. In more sports news, four of the eight quarterfinal berths of the Men's Hockey World Cup in Bhubaneswar have been decided. Hosts India, two-time defending champions Australia, Argentina and Germany have made it to the last eight stage after topping their respective groups. The remaining four places will be determined through crossover matches that will be played today and tomorrow between the second and third placed teams of each pool. Tomorrow, Pakistan will be up against Belgium with the Netherlands taking on Canada. The quarterfinal matches will be played on Wednesday and Thursday with the semi-finals slated for Saturday. The final will be played on Sunday. In Tripura, the under-17 women football event of the 64th National School Games got underway at Umakanta Mini Stadium on Sunday. Inaugurating the event, Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Deb said, women empowerment is an essential component for development of the country. Terming the event a glorious chapter for Tripura, Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Manoj Kanti Deb said, the state government will now work to create an infrastructure so that Tripura can host national games in future. Altogether, 23 teams from various states are part participating in the five-day event. The inaugural match was played between Tripura and IBSSO, which the host team won five goals to nil. Minister of Tripura, Kumar Deb, the Sports Minister, the Sports and Youth Affairs Minister,
The Meghalaya Mixed Martial Art has successfully conducted its first Meghalaya Mixed Martial Art caged fight. Players from Maharashtra, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Meghalaya, Assam, Manipur, Mizoram and other parts of the country participated. Players from Australia were also seen fighting to demonstrate their supremacy in the event hosted at the Indoor Stadium of Laban Sports Club, Shillong. The objective behind organizing the event in Meghalaya was to promote talents in the northeastern region. Altogether, 23 bouts took place of which 19 were amateur cage fight and 4 professional cage fights. In Arunachal Pradesh, curtains fell today on the three-day New Year festival of Poi Pi Mao Thai Festival of the Thai community. The inaugural day of the festival was attended by Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu and Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma. Khandu also launched the Arunachal Rising campaign and handed over cash prizes and certificates to best performing Asha and Anganwadi workers, progressive farmers and the winners of the state-level essay competition. On an early occasion, the Chief Minister laid the foundation stone for Greenfield Science College at Pyong, ITI Pyong Road from Biaro Road to Pilobari to be constructed under PMGSY and Girls Hostel for GHSS at Namsai. Manipur Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jaintu Kumar has announced that a floating dispensary constructed on a big bore equipped with Ayush doctors, nurses and medicine will soon be opened to take care of health issues of fishermen in Loktak Lake without posing any threat to the ecology of the lake. Speaking as chief guest at the closing function of Arogya Fair 2018, organized jointly by the Directorate of Ayush, State Medicinal Plant Board and Ayush Society at City Convention Centre in Imphal on Sunday, L. Jaintu Kumar reminded all concerned that fishermen who reside in Loktak Lake are also citizens of the state, so it is the government's responsibility to take care of their health problems. And finally, in Assam, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Social, Educational, Health and Family Welfare Association, Northeastern India, has set up a hospital at Bonda, Guwahati. It will extend low-cost treatment to economically weaker sections of the society. The hospital was inaugurated today by Guwahati High Court Advocate Satyendra Prasad Deka. <laughs> Dangor Hong Bidan Jodiase, Aluminius, Econ Hall, Harold for Hong Bidan. Hong Bidan Econot Kitake. And now we have the weather report. Satellite imagery over the northeast says that weather will be mainly dry over the region with moderate fog over isolated places during the next 24 hours. The temperatures recorded today at some of the state capitals of the region are as follows. Guwahati recorded a maximum of 26.7 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 11.4 degrees Celsius. Itaraga 28.7 and 10.7. Kohima 21 and 5. Imphal 23.8 and 4.5. Aizal 23.4 and 10.7. Arutala 27.5 and 11. Shillong 17 and 6.8. And Gangtok recorded a maximum of 14 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 7 degrees Celsius. And finally, before winding up, the headlines once again. Winter session of parliament begins tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says people-centric issues should receive priority. All arrangements ready for counting of votes for elections to five state assemblies, including Mizoram. Upendra Kushwaha quits Union Council of Ministers, sends in his resignation to the Prime Minister. Assam Chief Minister pays tribute to martyrs of anti-alien movement, says his government is determined to implement the Assam Accord. And in cricket, the men in blue thrash all season at lit test in the four-match series.
And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.